another grocery haul. My name is Heaven. I'm a stay-at-home mother and wife. I have a four-year-old toddler boy and I'm currently 13 weeks pregnant. So today I am just doing a huge grocery haul, showing you guys everything that I have for the month with an exception of a few more items that I still need to pick up from Target and Costco. But today is my Walmart grocery haul day and then once I get my Costco and Target items out of the way, I will do a separate haul for that. But there is a ton of food back here <laughs> that I have to show you guys and most of it is on the countertop and then I'll have to stop and <laughs> put that away put the rest on the counter so I can show you guys all of it the purpose of this is so that I do not have to grocery shop anymore for the rest of the month for the next four weeks but also don't have to go out and spend money on takeout that is always the goal when I do my grocery shopping to make sure that my family has enough food to eat throughout the month and enough meat packed inside of the deep freezer. It's 14 degrees right now, but yesterday it was like three degrees. The day before that it was zero degrees outside. And so this is that season where I really don't wanna go grocery shopping. <laughs> when and done is how we do it around here. And I'm gonna show you guys just how I do it. And then I'll share a little bit about my meal plan as far as what meals I pick to cook for the month. Starting over here, Plenty of things, so I'm going to just work my way from front to back, right to left. Front to back, right to left. That's how we're going to do this. So, in the front here, I have some single cheese that I use for Noah's Grilled Cheese Challenges for lunch. I also have some mozzarella shredded cheese, and the mozzarella shredded cheese is for pizza that we like to make. So, mozzarella, and then I also have Italian shredded cheese as well. And the Italian shredded cheese is for Italian dishes that we like to make, like pasta salad and things like that. I have an 18 pack of whole white eggs as well as cream cheese that's good for homemade mashed potatoes or other Italian dishes where you need like a cream sauce. I have some more imperial baking butter or spread and then I also have some biscuits for a breakfast option. Some liquid egg whites. They're pretty good. I actually like them better than the regular eggs and you don't even have to scramble them. You just have to pour them. So some liquid egg whites for breakfast. I have cranberry juice, cranberry apple, and cranberry elderberry. Cranberry elderberry is really good for the immune system. Cranberry apple is tasty and cranberry is also really good for many different reasons. I have some chocolate almond milk because Noah still likes to drink his chocolate milk. And I also have some apple juice, 100%. So those are the juices that I'm doing right now because I don't have any like artificial like, you know, sweeteners and all of that good stuff. So good juices there. For my coffee creamers, you guys, I have the oat milk one and then another oat milk one. And this is a French vanilla brand. And then I also have some no pulp, 100% Florida's natural orange juice. So that's cheese, eggs, dairy, all of that good stuff. So now for the fruit, got some blueberries, really good to have on the side of any breakfast or if you just want some fruit, the same for the strawberries. And then I also have some mandarins or clementines, whatever you guys like to call it. These are the sweet and seedless easy peel mandarins. And then head of lettuce because it lasts longer than like if you buy like a bag of lettuce, you can chop it up if you want to make a Mexican dish, a salad, whatever you want to do with it. And then I also have some cherry tomatoes to put inside a pasta salad, as well as some slicing tomatoes for when we make Mexican dishes like tacos or um, grilled chicken pitas and things like that. I have four individual bags of baby carrots for Noah to snack on. And then I also have some cucumbers here that I can chop up or put inside of an Italian pasta salad. These celery sticks would go really good with Noah's carrots right there. And then I also have some mixed like red, yellow, some red, fresh bell peppers. And then some organic green bell peppers. So I have the fresh ones. And then I also have over here the frozen ones. So these are the chopped green peppers. And then that is the pepper and onion blend of green, red pepper and onions. So that is for the freezer because these are the fresh ones. So they'll go bad if you don't use them within like a week or two. But then for the last two weeks of the month, these ones you can just pull out of the freezer and they already chopped. So there's that. 
And then here are more frozen broccoli. We have some from Costco in the freezer. But I've got one more bag of that. And then these are the mixed vegetables for stir fry. This goes good with some grilled chicken chopped up with some rice. And then you just add this and a little bit of soy sauce. Or you can do the same thing with steak and chop up the steak with rice and the stir fry vegetables. You can just do it with butter or you can do it with some soy sauce. And then these are the frozen cut green beans. And I just got three bags of green beans and some baby spinach for pizza or eggs. And then I also got this one Caesar salad kit because you have to, you know, use it like within days of when you purchase it. So this is the best I can do as far as salad. The rest I'll have to chop up and make, you know, by adding all of the ingredients. So for the bread and the meat, I have some ballpark hamburger buns because this is a good lunch option. I also have some cinnamon raisin bagels breakfast option, some Sara Lee 100% whole wheat bread, and then I'm going to put this sunbeam white with whole grain bread inside of the freezer to take out after we finish up this bread. I think that's it as far as the bread goes. And then for the pizza that we like to do, it's really fun to make pizza together as a family, and my son is a big pizza fan anyway. So we got some pepperonis, just a great value brand. Some pizza sauce, the one you squeeze out. And I have some mini pizza crust for if he just wants to do a mini pizza by himself. It's a three pack. Then I got a two pack of the 24 ounce. So the larger like family size one that you can slice. So that'll be fun and that'll go with the mozzarella cheese as well. Jasmine rice here to go a few dishes like the ones I was telling you guys about with like the vegetables and the chicken on the side or the steak on the side, the beef, however you want to do it. So more jasmine rice to refill the pantry with. And then now I'm going to move on to all of the meat. So I have some Little smoky turkey breakfast sausage. These are the turkey sausage that me and Noah love. <laughs> and my husband, he's finally starting to come around too. So it's this one. Those are the only breakfast sausages that I actually like. These here. Me and Noah. So I got two packs. One for the fridge and one for the freezer. Once we run out, of course, we'll take these out the freezer. And then for sausages, for things like jambalaya and for gumbo. And I think that was the only two things I got sausage for. But I have some smoked sausage. So two packs because my husband like a lot of smoked sausage inside of his gumbo. So I got two pack of the smoked sausage and then one pack of the beef sausage for the jambalaya. Um, I have ham and turkey sub kit. So just some deli meat to make our sandwiches with. And that only lasts for about six weeks. It's about how long that lasts and I did not know it's going to come with that much meat. Never again will I order that big of a size because I'm not going to be able to eat all of that in six weeks. Or we won't. We're just a family of three. So, I have some 100% beef burgers, 80% lean, 20% fat, not the best for digestion, but just some quick burger patties that are frozen that you can cook from frozen or quickly individually thaw them. Um, and it comes with 12 in there, so good. Lunch option or even dinner too. And then I got the three pack of the organic grass-fed ground beef three pack here for like tacos or Mexican dishes for jambalaya maybe or not jambalaya um dirty rice spaghetti and taco dishes like Mexican dishes is what I normally use the beef for but then I also have the ground turkey as well chicken breast tenderloins these are like the strips like the tenders they're much easier to chop and cut where you just want to make some um, chicken on the side of like chicken pitos or on the side of like rice for like a chicken stir fry. It's easier to chop them than like the whole chicken breast. Although we do have a huge bag of chicken breast down in the freezer that we pick up from Costco in bulk. So that gives us just more chicken to have. <laughs> and then speaking of chicken, you guys have one Tyson whole Leon chicken. This goes good. Just toss it inside of the slow cooker with some potatoes and some celery and some mixed vegetables and some chicken broth and let it slow cook on a Sunday and give your family a nice Sabbath cooked meal. And then I have two packs of these, you guys. 
two packs of these Tyson chicken wings to so just keep in the freezer. You never know when you want to throw some chicken wings in the air fryer or in the oven. And then I also have some skinless cod. Not doing too much as far as fish goes because of the pregnancy. But I did get one bag of cod filet. So we can do um, grilled cod one day. I have some New York strip steak, two packs. So this is the thick pack. And then I also have a thin pack of the New York strip steak strip steak slice it for a steak fajita or for a steak stir fry or just make the whole steak with some sweet potatoes so whatever you know option we choose to go with with that and then you could also add it with some snow crab legs so this is a three pack of crab legs and for the crab legs normally it's just me and my husband that eats it so i got two three pack of crab legs and you can do the steak with the crab legs for surf and turf he likes the thick steak i like the thin so that's why i got one pack of thin and one pack of thick but they're both new york strip steak this here is the easiest roast i have ever got so it comes with the roast and it also comes with the onion the carrots and the red potatoes and celery and you just throw it all in the slow cooker with the seasoning packet that it comes with or you can add your own seasonings if you want to i do have like the little packets of seasoning for a roast that i can season it with or you can add like a can of gravy in there however you like to do your roast but this is the easiest way to cook it you just toss it in the slow cooker and i think you can do eight hours on low or four hours on high so another really easy sunday meal so the roast, the gumbo, the whole chicken, those three things are going to be more than likely our Sunday meal. Let me go ahead and switch out this stuff and finish showing you guys what we have. Alright, so now that I have made some more space on the countertops, let's go ahead and finish out this grocery haul. I've got one bag of sweet potatoes and one bag of yellow potatoes. I also have a few different vitamin waters here. Coconut lime vitamin water, the strawberry lemonade, tropical citrus. Two packs of Martha White muffin mix, the blueberry muffin mix, and the banana nut muffin mix. These are really good to just pour and have a really quick breakfast option if you don't want to make bread from scratch. I have Texas toast to go on the side of my Italian dishes. And then for spaghetti, I have... Two cans of the Italian sausage and garlic prego sauce. And then I also have two cans of the garlic and herbs pasta sauce by Hunt's. And then two cans of diced tomatoes with basil, garlic, and oregano by Del Monte. I also have two cans of cream of chicken condensed soup. This is just a great value brand. And I like to put these inside of my chicken dishes sometimes. So you can put this inside of like chicken noodle soup. Or you can put this inside of like the slow cooker where you're making whole chicken and add a little bit more flavor to it i don't know why but i must have accidentally got two things of grits the old-fashioned ones and then the quick five minute grits but i really don't know the difference they seem to both cook at the same time to me but i don't know september 7th so august and september so i'll be good through the summer as far as grits go and then i have some mission super soft flour tortillas for Mexican dishes as well as some Ortega yellow corn taco shells and then my husband likes these jalapeno cheddar ones the spicy ones for his tacos so those are off when we decide to just do a taco Tuesday really easy for dinner I need to stock up on freezer bags so I got the 10 count and then I got a 25 count different sizes the um quart and two gallon to put away some of this stuff that I can like separate into multiple days. Noah likes these frozen fish sticks. It comes with 52 in the pack. They cook really quickly, seven minutes in the air fryer. And he likes these for lunch sometimes. He's been asking for them, so I got them. I need to restock the spaghetti inside of the pantry, as well as the tri-colored rotini, which is really good with an Italian pasta salad. Then I also got the family size of Zetterin's jambalaya mix super easy you just throw it in the pan with some sausage and that's another good quick dinner option great value brand of italian dressing for the um tri-colored rotini pasta salad and then some more hidden valley ranch for i don't know whatever <laughs> i think that that finally sums up everything that i got 
for all of our groceries this time around. From Target, there are a few things that they have that they don't have at Walmart. Like they have like the asparagus wrapped chicken breasts that are so good and already seasoned. They have a few of like the seasoned salmon fillets. They have like Parmesan crusted chicken and the teriyaki seasoned beef tips. Those are the few things that I had to get from Target. I know it's only like five things. Um, but I think the total came out to like $55. So those are a few other dinner options that I'm going to go pick up from Target. And just do like a drive up tomorrow. And um, from Costco, we make sure that we stay stocked up on the bulk bag of salmon. The bulk bag of chicken nuggets for Noah. The bulk bag of chicken breast. And the bulk bag of broccoli aside from that we get the two pack of the frozen lasagna that you can just throw in the oven and it takes like 70 minutes to bake and it's really good and it comes with two packs so you can pull those out if you have a day where you don't feel good or when you've been out all day and you need a quick dinner option you can throw that in the oven um and unlike their other like ready to cook dishes they're already frozen so you could just have one of those like um, freezer dump meals to have. They have like a bag of traditional wings as well that you can make on like the side of lasagna or something. I think that's everything that we need to get from Costco. We like their salad as well. Costco has a lot of things to <laughs> to like but that's mostly what what we order from Costco like every month probably and make sure that we keep those stocked. So we're good on like water. We are also good on almond milk right now. I restocked my herbal teas recently and I've been taking it easy with herbal teas. And yeah, it's not a whole lot more that I typically get as long, you know, as we're good here. As the weeks go by, if any fruit goes bad, then we throw out the fruit and go out and do like a fruit run later in the month or a dairy run. But for the most part, this will last us throughout the entire month. All right, you guys, so that sums up today's Walmart grocery haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and, of course, subscribe to my channel for more content just like this. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and being here. I appreciate you guys so much. And that'll be all until next time. Happy homemaking. Bye.